Hi, it's John Cowan here. In less than three minutes, I'm going to tell you six reasons why I think DeWolf et al.'s paper is a model-driven paper. First of all, they assumed at the onset of their paper that the VMS deposit is syngenetic. They outlined this here and on the first page. If we go down to their uh, photograph in figure two, it shows a nice layer cake stradiography, or it appears that way. But when you look at it in detail, there is a reversal in yunning. So this is a map of that. There's a reversal yunning, but they don't indicate the dip angles in this map. They measure stratigraphic columns like shown here, and they show that in the next diagram in figure three. But if you notice the details, there is a yunning direction flip in this stratigraphic column. So most of this is actually upside down. Now I've never seen stratigraphic columns displayed this way. Why did they want to do that? This is not explained. The description of the host rocks fail to note that the massive sulfide layer is dipping at around 80 degrees in this diagram here. Remember that there is a reversal in yanging. So at what angle is the other limb dipping? We're not told about that. Their seafloor reconstruction shown here features interpreted synvolcanic growth faults, of which there is no documented field evidence. This speculative interpretation, which forms the core of their paper, is mentioned 10 times in their report. In contrast, a real structural feature that is present in their figure one, shown here, it's a clear fold closure that appears to be spatially associated with the mineralization, yet they mention the folding only twice in their paper, and they do not provide any structural data. My conclusion is that the paper is a model-driven paper that presents only data that supports their predetermined interpretation, that is, the syngenetic VMS interpretation. This is an example of a long tradition of model-driven syngenetic papers published in economic geology and other leading journals, which there are many and that have been published since the 1960s. Wow, I managed to do that in less than three minutes. Now, all the details are in the longer video, so check that out.